things and um, you know as far as what we expected in week one but obviously a lot's changed for both teams since then so I think it's just a matter of um, you know going through the season and just uh, gathering the information that you you feel is pertinent to your game plan so and that, that that's been our approach but you know this is a, a veteran football team that's Played a lot of football, has played a lot of playoff football. Um, so obviously div- division champ, uh, former Super Bowl champ. So many, so they obviously bring that to the table. But you know, it's playoff football. I mean, the only thing you know we're we're, we're guaranteed is four quarters to to go win and um, move on to the next round. And so uh, you know, regardless of what they did, you know, win their division, you know, you know all that. It's it's two teams lining up, you know, with uh, with the opportunity to move forward. Clarence, so folks, start talking on a couple of things. Um, how much is is last year's playoff performance loss motivation? Can you still use that as motivation going into this game? I mean, we're not living in it. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, we, we've acknowledged it. You know, really, you know, the, the thing that we're really focused on is on what we what we've done, who we are, and just make sure we have our plan as tight as possible going into this game. To do what we need to do to win the game, so uh, we we've had the time for the theme speeches and and they've been good. They've been good, you know, you know, good thing, good triggers to to talk about. So you know, as far as far as sacred wound of losing a playoff game, uh, you know, we definitely, you know, we've experienced that. Um, you know, we we talked about, you know, the Buffaloes running through the storm, resiliency, and and so I mean that that has served us well. But you know, all those experiencing is really the. You know, is the gold in our kintsugi, and and that's really the matter of who we are. So, but the reality of it is, um, without getting super philosophical, a ridiculously long answer here. But I, I think the reality of it is, you know, we we got to just make sure our focus is tight, and uh, you know, we're going into Tampa to to win a game on the road and against an outstanding football team. From a mindset standpoint, uh, you, you made a remark after last year's game that they were. Nervous a little bit going into that game. And well, I technically I said I, bet, I technically said nervous and backed it up. Okay, so let's 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 be well, factual. I just, I just want, what, what is your mindset of the confidence of this team? I think you know. I think just like anything, where I was going with the, my answer is okay. the experience. Um, I don't think playoffs experience is something you have to have. I, I think I think like anything in life, uh, you know, experience is is a good thing, uh, but it's clearly not necessary. I mean, we we know how to prepare. For, to beat a team, we know how to you know go on the road and win. Um, so we understand, uh, you know, the, the what's in front of us. So I, I think just like anything, you know, you know whether we had angst going into our first playoff game, you know, last year, you know, if or not. But at the end of the day, um, you, you know, you're talking about, you know, probably 75 people in that locker room. You know, 48 are getting ready to play the game, and everybody else is either coaching or support. So I mean. You know, we, we have that experience and, you know, and I think just like anything, we just got to make sure our information um, during the course of the week is what we're putting in, how we're applying it, how we're evaluating it, cleaning it up, because at the end of the day, you know, it's all about giving those 48 players what they need to win the game on Sunday, on Monday night, excuse me. Mike Todd Archer with ESPN, you've talked to us about September football and then how the season evolves during yeah. the year. What's playoff football? What's different about playoff football from End of regular season when things go on. Well, I, I just think the reality of it all, um, and, I, and I think it's, it, it's, and it's, it's, and it's really as simple as that. Um, you know, you know who you are, and, and, and you know, you know, plan wise and preparation wise, what, what you need to be uh, come Monday night, and just just staying in tune with that, staying on line with that. So, um, and dot, you know, and, that, and that's the beauty of this game. I mean, it's it, it's, you know. They're going to have a good plan. We're going to have a good plan. Uh, you know, that's never, but it's the you know it's the execution, the application, the, the, the quick adjustments, and, and doing what you need to do to to win. So I, I, I've always looked at playoff football. It's a time to reboot, just really clean yourself off. Because at the end of the day, this game is going to be about you know the, winning the matchups and using your toolbox. And our toolbox is our, it's our Cowboy Six. So this is going to come down to fundamentals and technique and and finish and. All the things that uh, you know you work on since day one. And how do you think Dak will respond in this reboot? Is there a reboot maybe for him with the interceptions that he's had to close the season and some of the things like that? Well, I, I, I don't think it's like anything in, in how we function internally. I mean, we're we're evaluating everything we do. I mean, every 
every walkthrough, if there's a correction, you know, practice, you know, so you're always, you know, correcting, evolving to improve. So um, it, it isn't like we we sat up there on on uh, Monday and Tuesday and did this grand self scout and say, hey, we've got to fix these things before you go play. I mean, you're, th to me, that's that's part of your application and evaluation process. So, yeah, I mean, and the focus for for myself and our football team is, you know, the things that haven't gone well are, are probably the things you learn the most from. So, and that's life. And I go back to, you know, that is our gold. That is the gold of our Kintsugi and, and, and that's the way we're playing it. So we love who we are and uh, we're excited about this opportunity. And uh, I guarantee we'll be, we'll be ready to go. Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. Some of your injured guys are still scheduled to work in the next couple of days, like Bland and Van Roos and Hankins? Correct. Yeah, I see all three of those guys going. How much can you expect from Rhodes, considering you just got him and this, can you get him up to speed? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he got a chance to work, you know, uh, Saturday last week. So uh, we're excited to see him. He'll, he'll, he'll go today. So we'll, we'll see if, uh, you know, if we can get a role for him, see how he fits. Kind of in line with the, the playoff football, when, when you look at historically, do defenses usually throw more or some unexpected things at quarterbacks that they don't necessarily show during the regular season, or does it usually follow in line with how they? I mean, it really depends on the on the philosophy of the defensive coordinator and his system. I'm not, you know, I don't think teams go into playoffs and have a bunch of new schemes. I mean, it's especially defense. I mean, you're, you're coaching concepts and um, year rounded. You want to make sure. You know, work so your, your your guys are playing as fast as possible. So, and I think obviously with Todd, I mean they're they are a multiple defense. So it, it isn't like they trust me. They don't they don't need any more they don't need any more pressures. They got plenty. So, so it's just about altering what they do. I mean, it's just yeah. about yeah. It's, I mean, he's, they're going to do what they. You know, they're going to look at our protections, look at the matchups, and you know, they're going they're going to play their play their game. With the AP, you expressed concern late in the regular season about injuries piling up a little bit on the defense. How do you feel about <laughs> some of those guys coming back and what it might mean for that unit? I, I feel great about where we are. I, I think anytime you can stand here and and know that you know come Monday night you're going to have some guys that are disappointed that they're not on the 48, and that you know to me that's as that's he, that's as, as healthy if I, you can you can ask to be to ask me at this time of year. So. Um, and, and we're, and I feel confident, you know, after we get through this week's prep, that we'll be in that in that spot. Jane. Jane Slater, NFL Network. Obviously, tons of tape on Tom Brady, but what stands out about his level of play at this point in his career as you head into the playoffs? Uh, just really his discipline, uh, particularly in situational football. I mean, just just the awareness. You know, I mean, just you look at the Carolina game. You know, the way it started. You know, the way it evolved, and you know what, what was done in the you know the end of the third quarter and the fourth quarter. So, uh, just you know, I, his, his ball placement is. You know, everybody wants to talk about his age, but you know, it, it particularly on the vertical throws. You know, outside the numbers. You know, the the to make those throws uh, as consistent as he does is, is super impressive. But I think it, I, I would just go back to my. My, you know, original answer. I, th I think his situational football and, and discipline in those situations is is extremely high. Is that it? Anybody else? Oh. Jory. Hi, Jory. I'm hanging out in sports. We talked a little bit about Leighton Van Der Esch earlier this week, but given how Brady is able to adjust on the fly, how important will his communication be for getting the rest of the defense lined up? Yeah, I mean, I mean, Layton's Layton's our green dot. He's our quarterback on on defense. So um, obviously, we're, we're thrilled to have him back today, and just you know, want to see him get through the week of prep. And um, you know, I just think like anything, communication is so important. And uh, you know, he's he, he's done it at a high level for us for quite some time. So um, you know, I just hope everything goes smooth this week. Todd, Mike, with uh, <coughs> with Trayvon in this season, obviously didn't have the interceptions that he had a year ago, but. Where's his level of play been? Do you think one through seventeen going into the playoffs? You know, I, I think like right now it's you know going back to the term reboot, um, and that's for all of us. You know, he, he's had a chance to, to you know, self scout. I, I, I you know we have self scout cut ups that are made for each one of our players. You know, weekly, and you know, and you know you encourage them, those guys to know themselves more than they know the opponent because I, I think especially this is the time of year where it's prevalent. So the things that he's done very well, he's aware of the tendencies that. 
that he has or has shown, you know, it's maybe you know, bump and rut technique. He's, you know, he's obviously on top of that, and you know, and any, even the mistakes he may have, it's, you know, he knows are, those are on film. So, um, I mean, he's, I mean, he's his instinct and awareness is, um, you know, very high, and, and, and obviously he's a super, super competitive, and you know, and, and this will be a big challenge for him uh, Monday. We've asked you about the defense guys, but Tyler Biotis, what's his plan for today? I, I see Tyler going today, yes. Jane. Piggybacking off what Drew was talking about, Leighton Vanderesh, just having him back out there as the quarterback of your defense, how does he free up guys like Michael Parsons and allow them to play a little bit more freely? Um, I mean, he's. I mean, Mike is going to play. You know, Mike is going to play uh, the way he plays, regardless of who has the green dot. You know, um, I mean, are you asking because Mike did that two know, years ago? Or? Out there in terms of communication and allowing you guys to be a little bit more yeah. flexible with how you use Mike Parsons. I mean, if anything, it, it probably you know frees up J.K. and, and Malik and the other guys that have had to do the green dot when he's not not out there. So um, it gives them an opportunity to, to communicate more. You know. In their in their in their aspects of it, and um, you know it's it's less, you know it's something off their plate is the guys. Have been. But as far as the you know Leighton's communication to Mike and all the other guys, yeah, I mean, you know once again there's a reason why he's our number one green dog because he, he does it at such a high level. Uh, Bank Bluff, Burke, Cowboys Radio. Um, so you, you've been around obviously the, some of the Mount Rushmore guys and quarterbacks, Montana, you got Favre, you got Rogers, played against Brady enough. But what, what's the Kind of a common denominator or a thread that you see running through those kind of guys. Um, I think the common denominator in, you know, they've all. I mean, the first three, you know, are obviously in a very similar system that that, that I'm, I'm accustomed to. But I, I would say the common denominator in, and you know, I just remember as a young coach, first time seeing Joe go through a two minute drill, first time you see Brett, and I think clearly, I think Aaron's, you know, is off the charts at it. Um, but just th- the way they play two minute, and, it, and I speak, you know, same about Tom. It just, the, it, it's almost um, something they, you know, they, they live for, and you know, and that's, you know, that that that's their when they're in their element. Because uh, I mean, you you can see him in the, the two minute drills, or you know, even the up tempo offense, you know, on the ball, and they're, you know, um, just you know, changing the pace of the game. I mean, that's. I think that's one of the, one of the best things he does. So uh, I would say the common denominator is these guys are you're always in it, you know, as long as you got time and downs. Mike Haley said in DallasCowboys.com, how important is it to get Michael Gallup some more opportunities on the field or get him more involved in the offense? Well, I mean, it's important. I mean, it's it's definitely important. You know, especially, you know, you look at matchups and you know the, the anticipation of how they're going to cover us, you know, what, you know, what, what, you know, whether they double CD or tilt it towards, you know, CD and yeah, but more importantly, um, you know, ball distribution is our, is, is my number one outlook for the offense. I mean, you know, obviously the schemes and, um, the, you know, the game plan that the coaches put together and, and then obviously the, you know, you work it during the course of the week and, you know, and, and get things worked out where everybody's on the same page. But, you know, we're all about ball distribution. You know, our, our goal is to have 55 plus, you know, rushes and completions each and every game. So, obviously, Mark Michael's part of that equation. All righty, thank you, Mike. Thank you. Thank you.